What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to do episode 3 of the beginner series here in the Elder Scrolls Online. I'm going to give you 3 tips that hopefully will help you out along the way in the Elder Scrolls Online if you are a new player. Now one thing that is definitely important in game is bank space. We talked about bag space in one of the previous videos, but you also can upgrade your bank space. All you have to do is travel to any bank anywhere in Tamriel. Of course, you can find a bank by this logo here on the flag. It looks like a chest. Once you go in, you can talk to the banker and upgrade your bank space just like you do your bag space. It will get expensive the more slots that you buy. So just understand you may not be able to buy them all right away because it gets very expensive towards the end. The last 30 or 40 slots you're going to buy are going to be expensive. You're going to end up spending kind of like bag space around 700 to 800,000 gold in total to rank it up completely. Now you can get extra bank space if you are an ESO Plus member. As you can see here, my bank space is uh, maxed out. Now one good thing is if you have ESO Plus, your bank space is maxed out, you will have a total of 480 slots. But if you, for example, have 60 slots, you will have 120 if you have ESO Plus. It just pretty much doubles what you have. So just keep in mind, if you're wanting more bank slots, uh, make sure you know that you're purchasing those when you can when you have the gold and if you do have ESO plus it will allow you to have more bank slots or at least double bank space so that will be helpful for keeping items I know a lot of us like to collect stuff in game especially when you start playing your new player you don't want to necessarily get rid of everything and it's a good thing to have extra bag space and extra bank space as well the next thing is going to be make sure you research traits early on even if you don't start doing the crafting quest right off the bat and when you're out in the game, you're doing quests, you're doing world bosses, whatever you're doing in game, doing dungeons, you will get gear. Instead of just breaking it down or selling it, bring it to a table, which it could be clothing, woodworking, uh, jewelry, or blacksmithing, and make sure that you're researching those items. Then later on, if you want to start crafting later down the road, you will have already have some items researched, and this will help you out uh, in being able to craft a lot quicker. So what you're going to do is click on any of these tables, uh, if you have any item, like I said, if it's a blacksmithing item, you'll have to take it to a blacksmithing table. If it is a clothing item, you will take it to the clothier station. Same for woodworking, same for jewelry crafting. Then you will go down to the research uh, area, and you can find the piece of gear you have by just kind of going over here and seeing you know, light and medium gear. And each individual piece will have to be researched. Now, I recommend doing... Uh, research on the items that you're planning on using. So if you're a DPS and you're looking for, you know, light or medium, most likely you're going to want to craft gear later on in Divines. Uh, if you're a tank or a healer, you might want to use infused or sturdy. The same would go for, you know, like I said, uh, woodworking, uh, blacksmithing, and jewelry. You want to find out the traits that you're going to need for the class that you're making and research those first. The reason being is the first few things you research don't take that long to finish. They're only going to be a couple hours to days. And this is real time days. So once you have researched a lot of items here, let's say you have everything done here, but the last couple things, you're going to be looking anywhere from 20 to 30 days for those uh, research, research items to be done. There's a few ways you can speed that up. Of course, there are some passives in the crafting section. If you're already doing crafting, that will allow you to research a little bit quicker. If you have ESO Plus, you can uh, research a little bit quicker. And you will get those uh, research scrolls in your daily rewards as well. You can use one of those each day on each station to speed it up by one day. So just keep in mind, do the research as early as possible, but research the things you think you're going to need or look up some things. If you're going to do a certain build, if you're looking for a DPS build, for a stamina or magic or a tank build or healer build, Find out what traits they usually use on their gear. That way, later on, if you want to craft yourself some gear, you will already have those traits learned, and you can be able to craft that gear a lot easier, and you won't be stuck uh, without having the traits that you need. And last but not least, uh, if you are new to the game, the one thing that I can definitely recommend that helps out a lot when you're playing the game, when you're just out adventuring, when you're trying to figure out exactly what you want to do, is slotting skills at least one from each thing in your bar so if you have one bar and let's say you're a sorcerer for example this will work for any class you would take one skill from each class and put them on your bar and if you want to be you know someone that uses a two-handed weapon one-handed shield dual wield same kind of thing you want to take one skill and place it in your bar then once you get your back bar and you have your primary and back bar you will do the same thing 
The reason being, even if you're not planning on using those skills at the end, once you hit 50 and you can kind of respec your character because you will get that free respec scroll, you will be able to rank each uh, skill line up with those things slotted in your bars. So by doing this, you're going to rank that skill line up a lot quicker. So if you only had things, for example, just from dark magic slotted, you're only going to rank up the dark magic class skill line here. But if you slot one thing from dark magic, one thing from daedric summoning, one thing from storm calling, one thing from each of your weapon skill lines here, you will be able to rank those up as you're playing because they are on your bar. So since they're on your bar, you will gain XP towards the, those skill lines and rank those up while you're playing. And then once you get to 50, these should all be leveled up pretty much equally and almost done. And that's very helpful going forward because if you want to even change your build after you hit 50 or you decide, you know, maybe I don't want to be a two-handed weapon. Maybe I want to be a tank or a, a, you know, something using a destruction staff. All you'll have to do is then just go down and you can select the skills that you want to have because you will already have those skill lines unlocked. And how you unlock these skill lines, of course, is use a restoration staff for just a little bit, do a little bit of damage. It will unlock this skill line. The same goes for all the weapon um, you know, skill lines. All you have to do is use, use those weapons just a few minutes to be able to uh, unlock those skill lines. Now, when it comes to the class skill lines, these will be unlocked automatically. Like I said, just make sure you're slotting one skill from each of these to rank that skill line up. That way, once you get to 50, you will have everything unlocked that you need. Anyway, guys, I hope these tips helped you out. And of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.